Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than making assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be and you hear the answer to the questions. You won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. But they tell you the truth, right? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 33, NASDAQ off 5, SP's down 5, gold contract up a dollar 60 trading at 1331.10. Silver up 4 cents, $15.87 an ounce. Copper. 294 pound, a light sweet crude up 18 cents, $55.66 a barrel. Notes and bonds are the big number out here, folks. You get the 10 year note up eight ticks, 122.09. 30 year bond up, 30, up 21 ticks, 146.25. Now they both are going after their highs. Monster volume coming in the market both yesterday and today. King dollar, King dollar down 946 ticks, trading 95,925. King dollar broke on price, has some volume, not huge volume, but I expect you're going to get it tomorrow. Why? Because you had both the euro as well as the pound go topside, folks, and I expect you're going to be going topside all night long. We have the euro trading at 113.90 to 1 US dollar. The yen. The pound is 132.56 to 1 US dollar, and the yen is 110.58 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's get over and take a look at Tesla, folks. This is, <laughs> we got to look at Tesla first because this is just pretty amazing. I mean, it, it's a, it, there's no doubt it's turned into a cult stock. Uh, Tesla rejected two, $288 today. You're at 297 uh, The reason we're looking at Tesla first is that what you had out here uh, is that you had Elon Musk, bottom line, you know, he had texted a couple weeks ago about how many cars they were doing in 2019. He, was, he had a number of about 500,000. The real number is 400,000, and that wasn't corrected for about four hours later. Uh, on top of that, uh, the SEC went into the judge today to get a contempt citation. Uh, what's really intriguing about this is that when you actually start looking at this, which I did just in the last uh, 10, 15 minutes uh, when, when the last show is fi finishing, is that the, this is going to be uh, the one of the most unique jobs in the world, meaning the person that keeps Elon Musk uh, under control. But guess what? They haven't been able to do it. So let's see uh, what exactly uh, they're talking about. Uh, Tesla has de de declined to identify the in-house lawyer who is supposed to watch over Tesla's uh, over Musk um, uh, productions and contentious tweets. Uh, habits. Uh, the billionaire once again is in trouble with the U.S. Security Exchange Commission. Uh, the question is, who, if anyone, can reel them in? Uh, so w this is what you had out here. Um, Musk, uh, there's no doubt, uh, has shown no sign of backing down to the SEC even after a, the SEC today asked the judge to hold the Tesla executive officer in contempt of court. Um, the terms of the settlement, now here's where I wanted to get to, because this is, where, this is where this is going. The terms of the settlement with the SEC last year required that Musk get approval before communicating material information to investors. His social media minder, okay, didn't, didn't, D-I-D and apostrophe T, uh, bless the February 19 tweet that boasted that the electric car maker would produce 50,000 vehicles this year. The sitter, whose official title at Tesla is alt alternately Disclosure Council or Designated Security Council, did step in after after CNE offending tweet, arranged a meeting with Musk and draft a clarifying post. This is what one of their problems is. That one went out to his 24 million followers four hours after the first one, saying that uh, really deliveries would reach 400,000, a number in line with one of the companies. Uh, formal disclosures. Bottom line, that comes out. Then on top of that, folks, okay, uh, you know, Musk goes after the SEC today. Bottom line, it's a problem, child. Uh, Market-wise, you know, it just shook it off. 
Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is that, guess what, folks? Yeah, this is going to be another fine, and I expect, uh, you know, after kind of reading that, it, you know, we'll see uh, whether it's just going to be a fine. It could get more intense than that. Uh, you know, Tesla without him, okay, so there's two different things that, the way this can go. They give him one more fine, and then that's it. Bottom line, next time they kick him out of the business. You know, because what you're going to have here, you, you can do anything you want if it's a private company, folks. You can't do it when it's a public company. That's the real bottom line. Um, and, in fact, even in a private company, you don't want to be telling people you're, you're doing 500,000 cars, you're really doing 400,000. Bottom line, that, that in itself would still, um, you wouldn't have the SEC over you, but you'd have the FDA, uh, uh, FTC over you. Yeah, because that's still a fraud. That's, that's the bottom line. So, anyway, um, we'll see where this shakes out with Tesla. Notes and bonds out here, they continue to want higher price. That's why it looks to me, and it's going to be so cool watching how tonight shakes out uh, as well as tomorrow uh, to see if uh, this note and bond market has picked it up once again that this market wants lower price. Uh, when you take a look at this note market, it's pretty incredible. We did 3 million contracts out here today. 3 million. And you're at 122.09. The high is 123.07. That's going to be there in a heartbeat. Uh, it looks like the 30-year bond, same type of setup, up uh, 22 ticks. You remember, 32 ticks is a full point. Uh, 670,000 contracts. Your high out here is 148.27. And so that's uh, just two points away. Two points is nothing. Two, and the, in the 30-year, two points is nothing. And what you very well could have here is that you could have a very large ABC structure on the way up, which would be just pretty amazing. Some of the um, um, oh gold contracts. So uh, gold rejected lower price out here today. Uh, dollar finally uh, moved lower. Uh, gold had a low of at 1325. You ended up at 1330. Gold still in a confirmed ABC structure up. 1354.10. We hit 1349.80 on the 20th. You know, so what I expect we're going to see out here, and with the beginning of the week, which is pretty cool, uh, you're going to see lots of movement inside the currency market. You're going to see lots of movement inside the futures market. I expect we're going to see lots of movement inside the metals market in general. Uh, Dow Industrials finished down 33. NASDAQ off 5. S&P's up 5. You had gold up a buck 40. Silver. Let's go take a look at silver. Uh, silver out here today. This year. Silver was up about 2 tenths of 1 percent. 3 cents. That's good. Rejected lower price, man. We got down to uh, 1583. Rejected it. You're finishing out out here at 1596. Come right back.